NordVPN is a popular provider, that's for sure. But is NordVPN worth it in 2023? Now that's a different question. Today, I'm bringing out the brand new updated NordVPN review for 2023, full of pros, cons, and unbiased analysis of one of the most popular VPNs on the internet. Some reviews fail to mention the most crucial parts of the VPN, so I'm going in depth and will answer a lot of your questions that usually are not covered. First, let's check, is NordVPN safe? A review of NordVPN always focuses on encryption, but NordVPN actually doesn't stand out that much in that regard. It uses the ChaCha20 encryption algorithm to make your connection secure, like the most popular VPN providers do. A kill switch is another important feature that prevents any leaks on unstable connections. It helps me whenever I have to connect to public Wi-Fi's and want to make sure I don't leak anything. While those things are widespread and common to have, arguably NordVPN earned its popularity by including unique features. For instance, it has threat protection, a feature that replaced conventional ad blockers for me. All because it doesn't simply block ads, but also detects trackers, malicious websites, and even malware. VPNs like Surfshark or PIA have their own alternatives to this feature, but threat protection works the best out of them since they can't deal with malware. I could continue talking about features for a while, but there's an issue I must address in this NordVPN review for 2023. No matter how many features NordVPN has, not everyone will be able to use them all. Some essential features are only available on Windows or Android. If you want to use split tunneling, it's unavailable on iOS devices. However, there are also things everyone can benefit from, like RAM-only servers. These are special servers that can't retain user data. This means that you don't have to worry about servers leaking your data elsewhere. At the end of the day, privacy is a big deal and NordVPN's dedication to it has always been apparent. After all, it's located in a very privacy-friendly region. Even after the merger with Surfshark that is now located in the Netherlands, NordVPN's jurisdiction remains unchanged. Additionally, NordVPN has an audited no-logs policy. It's always nice to have proof that NordVPN does not sell your data. Now, I'm not quick to forgive and forget. NordVPN did have a breach about three years ago, but there's no denying that. But after looking at all the improvements NordVPN made since, starting with the bug bounty program and ending with specialized audits, I'm willing to believe that NordVPN can compete for the best 2023 VPN spot in terms of security. All in all, NordVPN ticks all the boxes for me as a security-focused provider. And if you want to try it out yourself and save money, I have deals for NordVPN subscription in the description below. Now, let's discuss the first thing you see when you download NordVPN, the UI. Personally, I think NordVPN's UI has some cool elements that other VPNs could adopt. Take the map, for example. Being able to see where I'm connecting and how far it is, I think it's a nice touch. Then again, the default look is customizable. So even if you don't like it straight from the bat, you can adjust it to your preferences. And yes, I use light mode, <laughs> don't judge me. But even so, NordVPN's UI is clean and to the point. I personally think it has an edge over some of these competitors like ExpressVPN or CyberGhost, whose design is overly convoluted in comparison. But let me tell you, there's one thing that NordVPN doesn't do, explaining. While every feature has a description of what it does, you will learn about that only if you go to the settings and look up every single thing. Casual users will never realize they are passing on an ad blocker or some other neat feature. Maybe they will even wonder how to use NordVPN immediately after the NordVPN download. NordVPN doesn't explain the tricks to maximizing performance either. For instance, I know that Nordlynx is the protocol with the best speed, but some specialized servers only work with OpenVPN. You can take a look at the NordVPN speed test for yourself. While Nordlynx speeds is fairly high even in some distant locations, OpenVPN hangs behind but allows me to run double VPN servers. In this NordVPN review 2023, I'm not going to claim that Nordlynx has unbeatable speeds. Comparing NordVPN versus ExpressVPN, Surfshark, or any other top provider, 
the average speed is within a similar range, more than enough for stuff like streaming. Talking about streaming, I don't have a lot to add to this time compared to the NordVPN review 2022. I mean, don't get me wrong, NordVPN is still my personal choice for streaming. I can't remember the last time I had an issue with streaming and there are plenty of servers to choose from. But Surfshark, for example, can access more Netflix libraries and even Disney Plus Hotstar in India, while NordVPN can no longer do that. On the other hand, when it comes to streaming quality, I'll stick with NordVPN for Netflix any time of day. NordVPN can provide a reliable experience and that's what I'm looking for. Now, the situation is a bit different with NordVPN torrenting. Privacy-wise, NordVPN is perfect for covering P2P transfers, but it doesn't allow P2P on all servers like Surfshark or ExpressVPN. If you are living far away from the closest P2P optimized server, you might not get that good of an experience with it. That said, I get fast speeds and I can always configure NordVPN to only cover my torrenting app with a VPN connection. However, I would prefer to have port forwarding instead to boost my performance. So all things considered, is NordVPN worth it? I think it is. With all the security and privacy potential, even that price tag seems fair, especially if you look for a long-term commitment and use NordVPN deals. Considering that a single NordVPN account is enough for six devices, that's not a bad value. Amongst the best VPN providers I use, NordVPN has to be one of the safest for anything. There are weak points, sure, stuff they could have improved, better torrenting support maybe, or some Indian servers for my Disney Plus Hotstar, but nothing too critical. Of course, it would be cool to have a NordVPN free version, but even with a 7-day NordVPN free trial or a 30-day money-back guarantee, it's easy enough to check out the provider. But I'm curious, what's your opinion? Do you think NordVPN is worth it? Did you use the NordVPN coupon code I left in the description? Try them out. The current deal is the best one I've been able to find. In any case, thanks a lot for watching and make sure to stick around for more VPN content coming up. It's 2023, so there's a lot of re-evaluation on the horizon. Don't miss it.